Hey there, in this video, I'm going to be creating a robot in one hour with absolutely zero experience. So let me give you a little background about me. So as you can clearly see if you keep up with my previous videos, like uh, some of these right here, I can code, but tinkering with all that hardware stuff, I have absolutely zero experience. So I'm going to be challenging myself to be creating a robot for the first time. And so let me kind of show you what my idea is with this. So I have a Raspberry Pi right here. It's a Raspberry Pi 4. And the way these work is basically this is a computer. Um, as you can see right here, it's, you know, has a keyboard and a mouse. And the special thing about this is it has these little input output pins that allows you to transfer data signals from one of this into a light bulb to whatever you want. So given that I have just one hour to build this robot, I'm not going to be creating a transformer or Optimus Prime or Bumblebee. I'm just going to be creating a little humble robot. So, um, I guess before I actually start the time, I'm going to do some planning. Now I'm kind of trying to think what I'm going to create. The game idea I came up with is a two player mind reading game. Player one will choose a color between green, red and blue and player two will try to guess it. If player two is right, they will gain a point. And if they're wrong, player one will gain a point. And I think that's what um, the idea I'm going to go with. So, and, okay, well, let me get to work. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to need um, six LED lights, six LED lights. I found the LED lights right here. So we're going to have green, red, and blue, and then green, red, and blue for the other um, person. Now I'm going to need buttons. I'm going to need six buttons. So let me get that as well. This right here is going to be the representation of the buttons. So yeah, these are going to be how the player chooses, which one it is, and things of that nature. So yeah, we got the lights and we got the buttons now i'm gonna need some jumper cables to be able to connect everything but bucket load bucket load so wires um let me start connecting things i'm gonna open up Thony, i guess this is gonna be my script editor i'm assuming okay perfect uh is that how i make it big okay so python okay it's, per it's already on python so, fun fact, I haven't coded in Python in one year, and I don't know how any of this stuff works, but you know what, I'm going to figure it out. So, I'm assuming the first thing I'm going to need to do is figure out what, what are the code names for each one of these dots, and I'm probably going to have to import a Raspberry Pi um, function, so um, I guess the first thing for me to do is uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, this right here is the layout for the Raspberry Pi. I probably actually just put it on the screen so it looks a bit better. But I guess I have to memorize, I mean not memorize, but like figure out like what's going to be for what. So I can get the things running and things of that nature. But yeah, this correlates with this. So, perfect. Okay, so I connected all of these buttons. And now I just need to find a way to connect these lights to the buttons using these cables so these right here is what i'm going to be using to connect the buttons um so i'm going to be connecting uh this one like here so these are the buttons and stuff they press so now i need to connect it to this and the lights as well so yeah let me do that somehow activating nerd mode go to my glasses i didn't lock it Okay, so I just finished with the code um, aspect of this, I believe. Well, the base code, this right here. Um, now I just need to, um, you know, do this here. Uh, so, uh, Okay, so let me show you guys something. 
yep the red light is turning on the red um the red button is, is see i'm i'm going insane but the red button is turning on the red light so i mean that's pretty dope Okay, so finally I got the buttons to work. So if I press the red one, the red one shines. When I press the green one, the green one shines. And when I press the blue one, the blue one shines. And now I just need to turn it into a game. So that'll be the final thing um, that I'll do. Okay, so now that everything's finally done, let me show you guys what I've, how the game works. So all you have to do is it's gonna tell you that player one choose a color um, by pressing the corresponding button. Press the red button for red, green for green, and you know, blue for blue. So if I press the blue button, you can see the blue shows up for a second. Now, um, there's no update here, but um, if, let's say for, for example, player two thinks that I selected red, player one score goes up because player one got it correct. So yeah, that's basically, the game and let's say we forget the get it correct now if we got it correct then we, we um they both they both get a score increase so yeah that's the robot that i created given that i only had one hour um and also you know limited knowledge this isn't too bad um so hopefully um the next one i, I hope to create something in 24 hours so i'll take some of these you know lessons from this to make the next one but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that. I hope to see you in the next one uh, where I create, you know, the next, the next video game, things of that nature. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.